Mr. Speaker, right now our nation is grappling with a border crisis that has been manufactured by democratic policies that brazenly reward those that break our laws to enter our country illegally. My home state of New York is drowning due to policies that transformed our state into a sanctuary for illegal immigration. Democratic leaders in New York City, Albany, here in Congress, in the White House, they have turned their back on lawful Americans, choosing instead to roll out the red carpet for illegal immigrants with housing, clothing, financial incentives, all paid for by the American taxpayers. The gravy train's alive and well. Through this process, we're learning that it's a calculated effort to boost their own political power by inflating their population counts and skewing congressional representation. We're talking millions of people who are not American citizens having a major say in American elections. They're not even hiding it anymore. One of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle who happens to represent New York City in this body openly called for more illegal immigration for her district because she says she, quote, needs more people in her district for redistricting purposes. This absurd notion pushed by my colleagues across the aisle that these non-citizens should shape the future of our nation is completely unconstitutional. They are corroding the essence of American citizenship, turning it into a political commodity. The Equal Representation Act is our line in the sand. It is time to end the charade by rewarding new states like New York and California for this reckless sanctuary antics that undermine our laws. I urge my colleagues to rise above partisan manipulation, protect the sanctity of our democracy, and support the Equal Representation Act. Let's send a clear message that the value of American citizenship is absolute, and our elections are not for sale. I yield back.